The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis, as I mentioned before. Um, the thing that I wanted to talk about today are three things, crude oil, gold, and also the E-mini S&P. We've been fortunate enough to be short a little bit of that uh, off and on during the week, you know, trying to scalp a few bucks here and there, which is sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But one of our listeners asked, why doesn't it work every time? Well, if it worked every time, it wouldn't work any of the time because it's a process of probabilities, folks. And what you have to do is you have to firmly believe that what you're doing when you're doing these patterns, that they work most of the time. And the key word there is most. I wish it were, you know, if it worked all the time, it would be worthless because everybody would see it, right? And yes, you can lose five, six times in a row, but you can also win 10, 20, well, not 20 times, but you can win 10 times in a row. The odds are, in your favor about 60% of the time, and your payoff is going to be $1.5 for every dollar you risk. That You don't get those odds in Las Vegas. So that's what we're looking at. Now, if you take a look at this crude oil chart, this was our this was our uh, trade of the week. And if you remember, uh, we were uh, looking to sell that up there at the 83 uh, and change level. It's now trading at 79, folks. But what I'd like to do now is to just go into my realm that I really like, which is short-term trading. And I want to show you the action in crude oil here. Oh, these, these charts, I, I love these charts. The problem is they don't post like I want them to. So let's hopefully this will come up and we'll be able to talk about it. Folks, I will try to get this fixed. Ah, good. There's the high today. We sent a video out last night when the market was right here. And we said, look for this ABCD to come right here to 382. The number was 82.43, and I said sell at 82.41, and you can see where it's dropped here. We dropped a couple of thousand dollars from that level. Now this is there was another one right here, the 382 that we had here just the other day. So once these things start moving in that direction, you want to try to get. Do they always work like that? Goodness no. But remember, we had one in gold. Remember that was the same thing in gold. This was a pattern that failed, and once it failed, what we tried to do, we don't always do this, of course, but what we try to do, and I'll just bring this up again so we can uh, watch it. Oh. <laughs> oh, Larry, 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 what are we going to do here? Okay, let's get this together, and we'll be right back. Hold on now. Just, just hopefully this will be just a second, and we'll be able to get this up here. And we'll be fine. Al, if you'd be try to contact Bart, if you could, please. You've got his number. Uh, these charts, unfortunately, folks, I don't know what it is. It's Ensign's problem. Uh, I've, asked, I've asked them to fix it before. Whenever I posted a chart, it goes directly to my desktop. And then all I have to do is click on the desktop and put it into Discord. But evidently, Discord is not recognizing the chart. So I'm not able to bring it up. You'll have to look at some of these on your own, which is uh, always good because... As Mr. Twentyman says, defy human nature, uh, do the work yourself. So here's what we want to be watching. We have gold moving down. We have the crude oil moving down. And believe me, folks, we've had now from the high, we've dropped $5 a barrel from 84 to 79. Now, we got a nice piece of that change. I mean, not all of it, but nice piece of the change. Same thing in the S&P. Remember, we were selling that just the other day when it was up there at uh, 45, um, uh, what was it, 45, uh, uh, 45.13. And now we're at 44.37. We're you know, almost, that's the, the, the key here was to, you know, uh, to take, take some of it off. I suggested to look at it today to make sure you didn't get short after today because I really believe for firmly because, uh, and I believe in the lunar cycles because these are from uh, Andrew Lowe, you know, the in charge of financial engineering at MIT. He's a strong believer in astrophysics and he follows full moons and new moons. I know that for a fact. And he runs a $3 billion hedge fund that all the profits 
go to cancer research. And so he's a, he's a really a stand-up guy, a really nice fellow, too. I met him once. But, um, you know, he, he, these algorithms that these folks use here, folks, they work. They Like everything else, they don't work all the time. But when they do, and when they do, then you've got something that you can actually use in your trading. So uh, the things that I'd like for you to do today is to review the gold charts that we've been sending out. And if you haven't got those, you know, let me know. I'll try to send them out to you. And then look at the crude oil chart and then look at the stock charts because these have been telling you they're coming down to this area right now. Now, we don't know that the new moon's going to mean a diddly squat today. I don't know. That's a, one of the last things on my bucket list is that someday somebody like Andrew Lowe will be on uh, CNBC or Bloomberg or Oxford or Cambridge, Stanford, Indiana State, someplace like that. And he'll say, look, folks, he, these are the odds on why uh, the astral cycles work. And believe me, they're, they're not astral cycles, folks. They're the same cycles that everybody look at. You take an 88-day cycle, it's Mercury. You take a 235-day cycle, it's Venus. You take a 365-day cycle, it's the Earth. So these are just numbers. That's all they are. They're nothing you know, metaphysical about them at all. That's why I had a really difficult time when I started doing this stuff back in 85 and 86 when Dr. Miller was pointing this out, at that time I was a really strongly uh, practicing Catholic. And I did, you know, the, one of the things in the Catholic Church, if you believed in astrology, you were the instrument of the devil, and that was a mortal sin. And uh, I was uh, really concerned about that. But eight, later on, when I got to go to the Vatican, and I realized that, golly, these things are they're present everywhere. You, you know, Da Vinci talked about it, Galileo. Plato, all these dudes, guys, and, and of course, uh, one of the smartest guys of all, and we all knew that is, don't we, folks? Pythagoras. Isaac Newton said, there was God, and there was man, and in between, in between was Pythagoras, and somebody had to tell Pythagoras this, because those formulas that he had in 666 BC were also in the pyramid from about 10,000 years ago, so... Somebody knows this stuff. All I'm trying to do is take a little bit and piece out of these things to see how the markets are actually moving. And that's what I'm hoping to do uh, each day as we go through. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, and we'll try to answer them the best we can uh, here today. Now, our, our, our guest was supposed to be Bart, but I, since he hasn't contacted me, I'm almost sure that he's just gotten tied up. But tomorrow... Without doubt, we'll have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and he's been telling us about this for quite a while, is to follow the crude oil and follow the, and watch the, how the heating oil acts. And the heating oil was telling you uh, that this thing was just close to being over, and that's what had happened. If you follow what we've been talking here, you'll see that those things were different. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. .com. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, give me one second here. I need to uh, let my friends here at uh, T uh, hold on to Al in uh, to give give Bart a call here. So give me one second, and I'll get this number up here, and we'll try to uh, get moving here. Four three nine zero nine zero. By the way, you remember that chart that I just posted? Uh, the low of the day on that big swing was supposed to be forty four thirty four. I think that's been the low so far, but chances are it's going to go uh, lower than that. So you don't want to stand in front of that freight train, boys and girls. Absolutely not. Okay, let's move on here to talk a little bit uh, about one of the other charts that we've been talking about for quite some time. And that is the uh, – I want to show you the chart on the uh, gold market on a longer-term basis. And this is why it's so, so very, very important. Now, this happens to be – oh, I hope this will post – um, I will get this thing fixed, folks. I will get it fixed. Now, whether it's in my lifetime or not, I'm not so sure. Ah, good. There's the weekly chart, okay? Now, remember, we got bullish. This is the August gold, which is spot gold right now, okay? Now, we're below 1,900, substantially below, okay? Now, that means that we could be looking at an ABCD down here, $100 lower, very we don't know for a fact. We're trading in the December gold. I just saw a trade at 29, 19.29. And so uh, all we're doing now is to see whether these things are going to hold these levels or not. That's that's really the bottom line. And that's all we can that's all we can really do is to put the odds in our favor. That's what we're really trying to do now. I'm not I'm not long the the stock indices yet. I have. Uh, I uh, covered all short. I covered my shorts way too early this morning. I covered them when they were at uh, 40, uh, 47. I covered the shorts at 44, 47. And someone asks, uh, yes, uh, he's got a problem uh, with uh, uh, one of his uh, uh, sites or something, is from what I understand. So we'll get Jim back on at another time. But we will have Mike Moore. Uh, on tomorrow. But uh, getting back to the S&P, you know, if you think you're going to get all the bottoms and all the tops in these markets, uh, not going to happen, folks. It's just not going to happen. These things are just, uh, they're very difficult sometimes to pick. But what you want to do is to get your shots so that they're right there in front of you. And you got to believe in what you're doing. I, I'm one of those people that really believe it. And so 
Sometimes it doesn't work as well as I like to see it, but other times it certainly does. And that's uh, that's the whole key to looking uh, at what we're doing here. I had a chance to visit with Paula Webb uh, this past weekend, uh, and uh, we were talking about some of the things that Mark did. And uh, it was uh, really, she told me the story right before. I'm not going to share it with you, but someone had really uh, did a disservice to, to Mark. Mark said he could turn his life around if he would listen to what Mark told him. So Mark worked with him every day for six months with the idea that if the guy made all of the money back that he had lost, he would get a 20% bonus. And it was a lot of money, folks. I'm talking seven big ones. And uh, he did get it all back. And then he said, well, that's too much to pay. I'll give you 50000 And Mark said, no, keep the money. And that, that then, unfortunately, about three weeks later, not anything to do with this, but Mark had passed away. But uh, he died with a not a sweet taste in his mouth, which uh, that guy really worked hard to try to help people. You know, he was just, uh, well, he sure helped me. I worked with him for five years, and I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am. And I'm not saying where I am is any good, but to me it's good. But uh, that's what I try to do each day. Now, today's a big day. And that's the reason why is this is the day we've been looking for. It's the new moon. And new moons, uh, you know, they are usually pretty good. It's also the anniversary of the day the king died, folks. And I happened to be visiting with my young daughter. And she was uh, six years old at the time. And I came home uh, from Conti office. And she was crying. And she had my little bowl of popcorn there and my little glass of Lambrusco that I used to have in the afternoon. And she says, oh, daddy. She says, someone's died. You're going to be so sorry. And I thought she said, oh, my God, is it your sister? She says, no, Dad. She says, Elvis has died. And uh, that was August the 16th of uh, 1975. And on August the 16th of 1996, Mark and Paula moved to um, Tucson to work with me for five years. And on that day, it was in the middle of the monsoons, and we had a belly buster. And I'm sitting in front of my house with electricity out because I couldn't open the garage door. All the electricity was gone. And lightning struck the tree in front of my house. And then it hit the lightning second bolt, hit my house. It did just under $35,000 worth of damage with water and all the other stuff. But it was really something. All the neighbors had to come in. And it was raining so much. And it filled up the house. And we had a sunken living room. And it was a, a mini disaster. And you know what I did, folks? I, I just gave the key to the, rent or the recovery people and said, here, tell me when it's done. And I left. I went to California uh, to visit my, uh, my daughter. And so I stayed in California for about three weeks until it was all done. And, you know, because these physical things, look what's going on to Lahaina, folks. I used to hang out in that place. Man, I have, I have two students that live there. I have, they've since moved away. But, man, that, that place, is a, it, it, it's unbelievable what I saw. I, I was shocked. All of those bars and shops and everything right on the water, all gone. And boy, you stop and think uh, when the good Lord, you know, turns the wrong way, you better be hoping that you're on the right side because if you don't, and if you don't, then you're looking at something that's going to be, be pretty nasty here. So let's keep in mind. Someone's had a question uh, about the uh, Dow Jones E-mini on the chart that we posted uh, earlier in the week because uh, I said if the market broke this, it would be – uh, very, very nasty, and I'll try to explain why. Let me get this up here. This is the Dow, and remember, we went for 11 days. Ah, uh, shucks. I'm going to try it two more times because it's that important of a chart. I put it in the newsletter because it was that important. And the reason why is because these numbers, when they fail, and when they fail, they're telling you something really big is happening. So let's hopefully this will hold Yes, there it is. You see right up in here, folks, that was 10 days down from the high, okay? And it hit the 382 uh, four times. That was at 50,000, okay? Now, the target on this move down on the ABCD is at 48,600, 48,600. And I don't believe that the Dow Jones has done that yet. I haven't checked the, the recent prices. Let me, let me give me one second to see it. Uh, no, we're... We're still trading at uh, at 4493. We're almost 100 points away from that, so it's going to be interesting. And we'll see whether these things actually actually hold up or not. Those of you that are um, aficionados of the 0.382 patterns will be very happy today because we had one in bonds, uh, 
We had one in crude oil. We had one in gold. And we had one in soybeans, and all of them worked. I mean, <laughs> unusual that they did, uh, but they did work. So that's what we're really watching today to see how these things are, you know, uh, coming together. And we'll have some work to do when we get back from our break here, which is, I think, coming up here in about 42 seconds. Again, I want to remind you that Mike Moore will be our guest Tomorrow he'll go over why we saw this, why he saw this move uh, coming in the crude oil because there was such a divergence between the natural gasoline and also the, the Arbob, gas, Arbob gasoline and then also the heating oil. Those were telling you that something was not right because the crude oil was lagging so badly. And we'll get right back after we pay a few bills for TFNN 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and we have a caller. I don't know how he got through, but he bust, Mr. Lucky should buy a lottery ticket today. Peter from Park City. Pedro, how are you doing, my friend? Hey, Larry, how are you? Hey, I have a question uh, for you. It's been one I've been bugging, bugging me, and I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. For, so let's just take a generic scenario. The S&P comes down. It breaks through the 3A2, okay? Mm-hmm. And let's say it gets down to, oh, maybe close to the 5-0. Okay. 
okay. and starts to bounce. Will you recalibrate from that point? And will, I guess, I know you will, but does that previous 3A2 remain on the charts as uh, upside resistance? Yes, it does. I leave that on there because, you know, we all these numbers, you know, they bounce off these. That's how these algorithmic traders that put these programs together from uh, MIT and, you know, all these other places, they they know what these numbers are. I, you know, and believe me, if you look at their degrees, the people that work for Renaissance and D.E. Shaw and some of these other places, they have degrees in mathematics, astrophysics, and stuff like that. The astrophysics part is just, you know, the normal numbers in the universe that we always use, you know, the square roots of the numbers one, two, three, four, and five, and the Fibonacci numbers are part of that. So 382, 618, 786, 127, 1618 are the ones that I use. When I see these numbers, I leave them on the charts because they look like magnets many times. The key to this whole thing, Peter, it's so god darn simple. I tell it to people every single day, and nobody ever listens to me. And it's been 3,900 3, shows over 17 years. And, folks, I'm going to try it one more time. Like Curly said, it's one thing, A, B equals C, D. If you think that how, how important A, B, C, D is today, go to a five-minute chart and look at the A, B, C, D on the price of Treasury bonds today. It nailed the exact high at 120.10 and the market dropped a full point just a simple ABCD now there were other things there but that was the thing that triggered it unfortunately I got a small piece of it but you know that's what I do I get little bits and pieces of things and that's what I try to do leave the numbers on the chart Peter that's all I can okay. tell you that's the key so, that's your so answer that we, you're looking we obviously for. off of the thing we got through that 786 on the S&P on the upside which was like mm -hmm. 4525 and we went yes. all the way up to 46.34. Now that we're below it, would you see that 45.25, the 0.786, still is an obstacle um, as we rebound? Yes, it certainly could okay. be. Yes, I certainly do that. Now, the thing that'll tell you that it's not going to be an obstacle, Peter, is the thrust. If it comes out of there and like it did early this morning, everybody thought, oh, the bottom's in, the bottom's in. That's just short covering is all that was. Early in the morning, it lasted an hour and a half, and then you see the market roll back over. I was involved with crude oil and gold and soybeans, so I didn't get any of that, but I, I had, to, had a piece of it, which is a small piece, which is okay. But uh, that's what you want to be waiting for is to make sure when you see thrust, that's going to be the thing that's going to say, ah, this is, uh, this is for real. We haven't seen that to the upside yet today. We probably won't with only two and a half hours to go. It's going to take a miracle for the market. The only way the market will be up today, if you see a print in the S&P at 44.50, if you see a 44.50 print, you do not want to be short, especially after hitting 44.34. So that's what I would be uh, watching real closely. But, you know, it's hard right. to buy a market when it's down like this, but it's hard to sell it when it's up too, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I appreciate that. I I kind of thought that was the case, so I will definitely make a point to yeah. you know, keep those hey, listen, on, any, any you know, time a you want to retest. Anytime you want to talk to me, you have my number. Just give me a jingle. I, but I love having you on the show, too. This really helps my uh, flow of everything, and these are the questions that I like to try to answer to folks because there's millions of questions out there on some of this stuff, and you try to narrow it down to – you know, the whole thing is to try not to lose too much. That's the real key. Exactly. Uh, no, and, yeah, and yeah. I mean, it, I, I'm a disciple of it. Uh, you've oh, I know that <laughs> over so many years that you know this does work, and it, it just takes a little fine tuning and continual education on it. But I am so grateful for everything you've done. Uh, I can't well, even put into words. Well, thank you so much. You just did. And thank you very much. It means it means a great deal to me, especially on a day like today. It really does. Thank you so much. All right. Well, okay, Peter. Stay safe, my friend. Snow will be coming soon. Be patient. Okay, folks, let's move on here and uh, talk about a couple other little things. Let me double check to see what's going on in the markets today. Oh, uh, it's held so far. Not much going on. We got gold down at 1928. Uh, looks like we're going to have a, a, sing, a triple, uh, not a triple digit, but we're going to see but that below 1900 probably in the next uh, few weeks. So 
that's the main thing to uh, pay attention to. Uh, oh dear, my charts are all messed up here. Something's not right, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, crude oil is now down five dollars a barrel, folks, from the high that we made here last Monday. And I want to bring up the chart here today, showing you what we were looking at on why. Oh dear, now where did it go? I have it here right in front of me. I give up. I had it right in front of me, and it's disappeared. How can that possibly be? Wow. Well, I'm going to try to find it when we come up to the next break. We'll be at about two minutes, but uh, that's the main thing. Let's take a quick look here at this a picture in the German DAX because this is a one that could happen, and if it does, it's going to be a beautiful. You don't necessarily have to trade this, but the pattern is what is really important. So let me bring this up. And this happens to be a German DAX, which is the German stock market. And it's going to be showing you the 135 pattern that is uh, – shut the front door. You know, sometimes if I do it twice, it will give me the same – it will it will, it will lock in the second time. Why, I don't know. But let's get this up here and we'll be able to see it here. Hang in there. Ah, forget it. Well, can't do it, folks. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Like I said, today's a new moon, and it's a very, very important bottom. If this bottom doesn't hold, uh, we're going to be seeing some pretty serious stuff, but it's actually doing relatively well. We're down a little bit. But look where we were yesterday. We're down 50 handles, you know, heading down towards this number. And now we're here, and, you know, nobody's interested in it. Early this morning, they were interested. You saw how quickly the Dow Jones rallied 200 points and gave it all back. But that Dow Jones has still not made its target today. We made the second one on the, in the NASDAQ just a little while ago. We've made the one in the S&P. But the Dow Jones number is uh, 35,480, And uh, that is still about 70, 80 points away. We might still get there. We might go through all of them. That I don't know. I'm just watching them one at a time, and we'll see what goes on here. All right, let me try this last one here. This is from our good friend, Rich Anderson. We'll get back from the break here. I'm going to get this thing working so that you can see. This comes from one of the smarter minds on Wall Street, uh, Ray Dalio at Bridgewater. And I want to be able to show this chart uh, to you folks just so you can see what's looking at. So stay with us, please. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted a chart from Rich Anderson. He's a, a very a strong believer in Ray Dalio at Bridgewater Research, and he sent a 20-minute uh, uh, YouTube video uh, describing this uh, current chart. Folks, I'm going to share it with you, but I will tell you this. This does not affect anything that I do in trading, okay? This is a fundamental thing about government deficits and bond insurance, things that I don't understand. And I, you know, I'm not a rocket scientist, but I have, I have three degrees. I'm a surgical, I'm a scrub, surgical scrub nurse. I have a BS degree in pharmacy. I've got a master in business and I will, from Indiana University, but I will tell you this, uh, what I do here is real simple stuff. I've worked on it for years. It, it's simple. It works for me. I don't try to make any dumb, you know, qualms about it or anything like that. But I want to show you this because he sent this out in a letter to all of his customers saying that we have big problems ahead of us because the federal government is in trouble now. They have to issue more bonds and they're going to have to issue bonds at a higher price because interest rates are higher, right? higher interest rates. OK, so this is going to cause some problems. Uh, I, you know, maybe the problems are today. I don't know. All I can tell you is this, and that is that we've got something going on here that I don't understand. And I, the reason why I'm telling you this, because people ask me questions about stuff like this every day. And I, you know, people say, God, you, you can't tell people that you don't know this stuff because you're, you make a fool of yourself. A, it's better to keep your mouth shut than to be thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. And I tell people right up front, if I don't if I don't understand something, I'm not going to BS through it or anything like that. I rather see other people in this business do that. I can't do that. I do I do one thing, folks. A B equals C D. It takes me to the promised land, and that promised land has been with me for a long time. And uh, that's all I can tell you. It just works. It's all part of that Mandelbrot stuff with fractal analysis where the key thing is the lightning bolt. And the lightning bolt is nothing more than the ABCD pattern. What Rich was trying to – and Rich, re, re, Rich re, reads incessantly. He subscribes to so many services that it's unbelievable. And I, I met Rich in 72 when I was doing – was trading through Payne Weber. And he had just uh, – just started as a kid. He's about 10 years uh, younger than me. And of course, he comes from a, a ranching farming family in uh, Hitchcock, uh, South Dakota. And basically, uh, you know, they had been in wheat and uh, cattle grazing and alfalfa and a few other things. He got into this business and he became a huge uh, broker in the business for many years. And he became a big money manager and he c continues that uh, to this day. But you know, when we were listening to the Squawk Box back in Payne Weber, and I would mention something about Fibonacci, he called the office to get my number and say, what do you know about this number you're talking about? So I started chatting with him back and forth. There, were, there was no Prechter book or anything like that. There was uh, no books that really had Fibonacci that related to the market at all, other than some of the metaphysical books that we talk about. And then all I tried to do was to show him how ABCD sort of fits together 
you know, with the stuff one thing at a time, and that's what really happened. So something like this, I bring it to your attention because you don't really know need to know something like this to be successful in the market. You you don't know that. That's correct. You do just it's not necessary. We don't know. So let's keep that in mind as we're looking at these things here today. So uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the day, how these things finally go. But I want to share one other one that is uh, really important, and that it's important to someone in the UK, and I wanted to bring it to your attention because here is a pattern that we have, and God willing, it's going to come up. And I, Alan, I know you're listening over there, and if it doesn't, my friend, I'll email it to you, but maybe the trade. Oh, my goodness, the trading. God, look at this, folks. What you're looking at right here. And this was up to date. You can see the Gartley pattern forming right here. There's your there's your D leg right here. You can see the A, B, C, D. There's your uh, uh, just a little beyond the 61% retracement. But you got in there. See at this point, you've got three ratios. You've got the A, B, C, D, and then you've got the expansion of this move, which is taking you to 1.618. Plus you're at really a, between a 786 and a 6. Well, it looks like in between like a 707. So you've got three numbers that tell you this is where you got to take your shot. You know that that's all you have to do, and that's what it looked at. But look at the A, B, C, Ds on the way down on this thing, folks. Take a look at this. There's one right here, A, B, C, D, and then you've got the big one, A. B, C, D, and you got a little one in between, A, B, C, D, and this is a daily chart. Now, the FTSE, they do trade it, but it's basically uh, stocks in London that are domiciled other places. In other words, they trade on that London stock exchange, but they're from Switzerland, South Africa, uh, Spain, all over the world, and uh, that's, I don't know why they even call it the FTSE. In fact, I've never traded it. I look at the charts because... My friend Tom Hugard trades it, and I keep an eye on it just to see that the same numbers on the FTSE are the same numbers on the S&P. So that's what, we're, that's what we're looking at here as we're going through some of these. Uh, the Treasury bonds. Uh, treasury bonds, if you just listen to the letter that I write each week, uh, these Treasury bonds are in big trouble, folks. Interest rates are going to go higher. How much higher? Nobody knows, but they do. they are pointed to go higher. And the reasoning for that is... There's too much debt out there, so the only way they can, you know, to take care of the debt is to issue more debt. They certainly can't pay the darn thing off. The only way the government could pay this off would be to sell off assets, i.e., the gold in Fort Knox, if it exists, and if they did, why would they ever do that? Or even the land. Look at these uh, areas of land. As I was driving across the desert to get into California, I was seeing the huge, uh, you go miles and miles and miles, and it's nothing but government land. And uh, so they have a lot of land, but uh, that's not it. All they got to do is re reduce their spending a little bit, and they're going to be a hell of a lot better than that. But, you know, once you elect somebody into an office – all they want to do is spend, and that's not a good thing to do. Let's remind ourselves of that. Now, we've only got another minute or so, I believe, in this segment. It's a minute, two minutes to go. So if you have any questions, you still have time to get in, 877-927-6648. We did have a question that was emailed in to us this morning, and that is about copper. Uh, we've always talked about, you know, Dr. Copper. Copper's been under a great deal of pressure recently, and why not? Look at gold. We're getting gold. Is, spot gold is under $1,900, folks, considerably below $1,900. December, which is a you know premium because of the, the uh, carrying charges and everything, is trading at 1929 I think, just a little while ago. So that's why copper doesn't look that good. And then you get news from China that uh, their countrywide uh, savings or uh, real estate deal is really in trouble and it's getting worse and worse. So we're getting stuff like that. I mean, that's one of the reasons why the market probably has you know, sold off a bit today. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. We did have a little bit of rally off of that bottom. We went from 34. We're up to 47 right now with two hours to go. So that's not too bad. So it's at least just acting pretty good, if nothing else. And so we'll see if some of these things I haven't told. Oh, the, the, uh, the NASDAQ has had a pretty good run here. We uh, we made a new low. We made that number, 49.88, and we're 100, almost 100 handles off the bottom. So there's some kind of bottom that is formed in here. So that's the good news. Let's hopefully that some of these things will come up. And I'll tell you that Dow Jones is acting good. Let's, we're going to talk about that when we get back. Okay, hold on.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of that we were talking about when the Dow Jones broke that 382 up there at uh, 35,082. The target on that was 34,867. We got as low as 34,910. That's as low as we got. We're trading at 34,990 uh, right now. Now, the number in the S&P was hit perfectly at, uh, four, well, so far, that doesn't mean any much, 4434. Uh, Oh, was that big ABCD? It's posted there in the room if you want to take a look at it. And then also the NASDAQ, which I tried to post and couldn't, was just under 50, uh, 15,000, 14,980, I believe, and it's rallied 100 handles since that time. And that's all this is. is a, you know, it's a rally eight day, and the market's uh, been a bit oversold because we've been down. Well, we've been down six or seven days now, uh, and we're down a, a month. Uh, well, actually, that we, we topped on the 28th of uh, July in the Dow Jones, and here we are on the 16th of August, so it's been down three weeks. If you go back to look to between June and July, it was also down three weeks and was also making an ABCD. So if this market would close strongly today, like the S Dow Jones closed above uh, 35,100, the S&P, like I mentioned, closed above um, 4750. Uh, that would be a really good sign. Uh, not too far. It's only it's 44.84 uh, right now. So if we can close above 44.55, uh, actually is the number. We close above 44.55.
you have a pretty good idea that yes, this might be a major bottom here uh, in the stock market, mainly because of this lunar cycle and all these ABCDs coming together. So I hope that helps. And uh, we will have Mike Moore as our guest tomorrow. You don't want to miss that because if you trade oil or gasoline or heating oil, you certainly want to pay attention to that young fellow because he has got his finger on the dial. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. 